Tonight, a Central Arkansas medical group is rolling out to help those addicted to opioids. Thanks for joining us. I'm Roly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Woodard. As the crisis continues to smolder here and across the nation, THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us how bringing treatment closer to homes in small towns could make a big difference. This has been a dream of ours for quite some time. Tucker Martin with River Valley Medical Wellness helped bring the idea of mobile health care to life. And that's where the Arkansas Mobile Opioid Recovery Unit comes in. It's currently in its soft launch stage, going to rural communities. A lot of people in rural communities have to travel upwards of 40 miles to get to high quality health care. That bothers us very deeply. So they're meeting them where they are to expand their reach. Martin says it will operate similarly to River Valley Medical Wellness Clinics in Russellville and Hot Springs and can offer other services besides addiction treatment. Under one roof, you can get family medicine services, right? If you need a flu shot or if you need a wellness checkup, we do that. Uh, then we provide mental health services uh, through therapy or uh, psychiatric services, med management. And the goal is to see patients more than once. Being in long-term recovery himself, Martin says he knows how important it is to build relationships with those going through the same thing. That's why he and peer recovery specialist Russell Boyd are doing this today. I felt like God was putting me in that um, path. You know, I'm a person with lived experience from drug, alcohol, mental health issues. And so everybody that comes on, I see them. Um, and just offer that support to get them to that next step in their life. Boyd has been clean for eight years and hopes to see similar success stories for Arkansans across the state. I'm always there to help them, you know, along the way to walk alongside them. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. The funding for the mobile unit comes from the opioid settlement from the Attorney General's office and comes at a cost of more than $700,000. The official launch is April 15th in Malvern.